Prosco Hillier, number 27, charges abduction. Mr. Hilliard is waiting on the fan date. It's going to be the 27th. Um, with respect to bond, my understanding is Mr. Hilliard did in fact turn himself in when he found out about the charges. Um, is the alleged victim um, here today? Is, is um, Lita say, is there a Jamisha Smith statement out there? Construction. My understanding is that this whole situation is that um, she is not the one that told all this to the police, that someone else did. And shh, shh, shh. That someone in the store called the police because they believed this to be an abduction. However, it was a situation where. Um, she was intoxicated and he was trying to get her home when they, he and she together saw this on the news and were shocked and called the news and indicated that that is not what occurred and uh, I thought she was coming today to indicate that this whole thing was portrayed in a false manner that someone in the store did not know their relationship and thought it was some kind of stranger situation. And we thought she was coming to indicate that to the court today. I don't believe she is the one that um, contacted the police. When they found out about this, he did come in and turn himself in. And as I said, they saw it on the news together that this occurred and were shocked at how it was being portrayed. Good morning, Mr. Hilliard. Good morning, Your Honor. Um, does Mr. Hilliard have a prior record? Yes, Your Honor. He has prior um, violent offenses, a previous arrest in 2014 for assault in Brooklyn. He was released. He's prior for traffic offense, 2014, that was dismissed. 2011, felonious assault, attempted felonious assault, domestic violence, endangering children. 2004, felonious assault, aggravated vehicular assault. 2004, complicity, felonious assault. 2004 drug possession trafficking offense plus two additional felonies. Thank you. Despite that, though, Your Honor, with respect to this incident, uh, my understanding is that this did not occur as been portrayed. Thank you. Mr. Murphy, did you want to be heard? See you. Totally different situation if you live with someone that's intoxicated or are trying to get them home than a stranger abduction against one's will. Can we recall this, please? Okay. All right, we're going to recall this matter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Judge, next we're going to jump back to the misdemeanor docket of victim on Christian Gwynn, aggravated menacing. Thank you. Um, Mr. Ex parte. Oh, May I please raise you. your right hand? You sign this word of testimony about the given this hearing is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So I hope you got victims been sworn. Time is 951. Good morning, ma'am. I'm all right. Good morning, Your Honor. Ashley Garrett from the City of Cleveland. Thank you, Mr. 
Ma'am, can you please state your name and spell it for the record? Jennifer Cummings, J E N N I S E R C E M I N G O. And ma'am, how do you know the defendant in this case, Mr. Gwynn? Oh, we have two children together. Okay. And have you been in a relationship with him? 